Hello, Bayern Munich fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is my Sans 3 Minutes Max. Back into running G-Cape, the GUI version of Cape, we left off uh, going into talking about running our modules. So let's go. Uh, we already went through the target side of things. We're going to look at GCAPE for the module side of things. Now, we can run it and just use the target side to pull out evidence and not do anything with those evidence with those files. But usually, we're going to want to do something with them. So we can check the box that says Use Module Options, and all of these options will show up. For Module Source, you would want to pick the T-CAPE. If you remember, we saved all of our files to T-DEST. Now, we don't have to do that. If we leave it blank, it will automatically seek out the TDEST or the destination from the target side of things. Where do I want my finished product? These modules are going to run and pull out forensic goodness. Where do I want to put that forensic goodness? Well, I've created myself a folder called MDEST, Module Destination, and that's where the forensic goodness is going to go. Again, there's the flush command that I'm going to use. And now what am I going to do to, what am I going to run against this stuff? Well, I'm going to run my AM cache parser and my app compact cache parser, because if you recall, we were going to uh, do evidence of execution. So once we pulled all of that out, then we've got our master file table that we want to pull out. So we're going to pull out MFT CMD we want to run. We're going to run PE CMD, if you recall, for to get our uh, prefetch files parsed because we pulled those out and then our recent file cache parser and that's pretty much going to cover all of the stuff that we pulled out of our target files how do we want to save them default is going to be the default that's outlined in the module file or you can pick a specific format if you want we're going to stick with the default for now and we can push out very verbose messages about what's going on with these module files. A default one is already created that outlines every single function that CAPE is going to perform while it does all of this forensic goodness. We can ignore an FTK warning. What is this? If you're using FTK to mount your forensic image so that you can access it with CAPE, you have failed. You will fail. FTK cannot be used for this. It can, but it'll suck and you'll do a very poor job. You want to use Arsenal Image Mounter to mount your forensic image. But if you made a mistake and used FTK, it will warn you unless you uncheck this box. A really cool thing at the bottom here, look what's happened. It has built the entire command line instruction to do all of the selections that we've selected. So if you want to learn command line while you're doing this, this is a great way to do this. So in the next episode, we're actually going to run this and see how long it takes and what we can get from it. But in the meantime and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.